little in this game. Um, uh, and I was wondering how that mentality affected you and getting 19 points in the first quarter. Um, just coming out, I know my 12 o'clock, 12.30 starts have been slow. Our team, we haven't had many, but the one we had, in, I think it was preseason, it's kind of slow. Um, just knowing myself from the past couple years, um, it's a different routine, different mentality because you're, everything is earlier, a lot earlier. Um, I just want to come back and just, just try to dominate the game, um, do what I can to, to get the team going. You know, that's the type of energy you need uh, from our bench, from you know, your star player, your role players, when the, when the game is this early. Um, and that's what I just try to do, just try to lead the team best way I can to, to help us get, to, to get the win. E.B., how impressed were you by Taylor in it, and how much have you seen him grow from the time you guys got here with him to this point? Um, to come out his first game and do what he did, um, it was unreal. You know, he's, he's a young guy who loves to learn. Um, you know, he comes in and you know, scored the ball, it was great defensively for us, um, made big plays. Um, and I was impressed, you know, first game, and to come in and do what he did to help us win, it was, it was huge. And it's a testament of his hard work. You know, a lot of guys, you come back, you're kind of rusty. Um, but he came in like he been playing with us this whole time. Um, just the work he's been able to put in, you know, even though he had his, his injury, you know, still been able to take his work seriously, his conditioning seriously. Um, and it's also that he's 20 years old, too. So, um, But to, to come in and to play the way he played definitely, you know, helped us get this one. Okay. Eighty, two quick ones for you. First of all, in the first quarter, you threw the ball off the backboard to yourself and put it home. Is, is that something that hit you in the moment? Is that something you've done before? I, I haven't seen it. you do it since you become a Laker. Um, talk to me about that play. Um, I just had nowhere to go with the ball. Um, I've done it before, like in high school and stuff, but uh, I don't think I've ever done it before in, in the league. But it was just something that just... I thought of it the, in the moment. You know, I had nowhere to go with the ball, and the you know, shot clock run down. Just, just go see, see what happens. Uh, and, and bigger picture, Wayne's back and has had a couple of good games. Talon, you said it was a remarkable debut for him. Frank told us that LeBron is starting to look like himself in workouts. Do you feel like this could be a stretch upcoming for you guys, particularly with this long road trip where you can start to kind of make your mark? Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's what we want. We want, to, we want to be able to put ourselves in a position to win each and every ball game, uh, especially a start, guys starting to come back. Um, we want to stay in the rhythm. And uh, I'm not sure everyone will be able to have a start like Taylor, but um, it will be nice. You know, when Brian comes back, K-9, T.A., um, Austin, you know, we start to get our guys, starting to get our guys back. Um, and we want to make a run. We want to make a, a nice, go on a nice little win streak um, and be the team that we know we can be. Um, but it starts with our our defense, and I feel like we we had moments where you know we look like the old Lakers where we mess up and 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 break down our coverages. But for the most part, um, we look really good. Ad over here. Um, Frank said that he feels like the, this starting uh, the smaller starting group is kind of the, the right thing for for right now, and, and he likes the way you guys have looked. Uh, what what has the smaller group done for you offensively in, in terms of just the spacing and then also seeing Talon and Russ get downhill, kick out the shooters? Like, how, how do you feel like the offense has looked with that smaller group? Um, we get the run. Uh, the lob threat is there. Even when we're, we're big, the lob threat is there. Um, but we have four shooters around a, you know, a dynamic roller, you know, who, who creates a... Uh, crowd and draw attention when you know when I roll to the basket. So now, if guys help, we kick it out to our shooters. If if they don't, then we have a lob and we got Taylor Russ who can get downhill um, and finish at the basket. So um, it's just a different you know look that we have. Um, it looks really good, and you know if coach wants to stick with it, then that's what we're going to do. But you know we also have games where we have to when we have to go you know to a bigger lineup um, with DJ or Dwight. Hey, first, real quickly, I just want to ask you what's going on with your left index finger. No, I just thought it looked cool to match my thumb. So, nothing. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, any other information on that? Nope. No, nah, that's, that's, that's all. Okay. Well, uh, I just want to look ahead uh, tomorrow, playing the Bulls. Obviously, always a big game for you, but 
Um, you know, is there any uh, special emotion with playing Alex Caruso, your old teammate, and, and having who? Alex I Caruso. Him. I don't know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no uh, it's gonna be fun playing against AC again. You know, uh, all the stuff he brought to our team to uh, win a championship and to our team last year. Um, you know, he he was a big part of what we what we did here. Um, probably a little bit more emotional for him than than me, you know, um, just because he's back here in L.A. And he's usually more emotional when I'm back in Chicago. But, you know, anytime I get a chance to play the Bulls, um, it's always fun, you know, to go against your hometown team. Um, but it's going to be fun and exciting, you know, to play against A.C. And, and, you know, try to get that win against him. Yeah. Last question. Anthony, just kind of going forward, the, the type of energy that you brought early today, I mean, is that something that you think you need to kind of bring on a game-by-game -game basis, or are there maybe some situations where, you know, uh, maybe you defer more to other people? No, I have to bring the energy every night. Um, you know, I, I try to bring the energy and let the guys feed off of me. You know, when I'm playing that way, playing a lot of energy, um, guys usually, you know, feed off of that and, and do the same thing. So it's my job as a leader to bring that energy um, and, and let guys know the type of pace and, and flow that we're going to play with tonight. Um, and when I don't, other guys don't. Um, but it's my job to, to bring that every night, and, and I expect these guys to follow. Frank had mentioned that he was impressed with how you were able to kind of stay in shape, even though you can't replicate game action uh, since you hadn't played since October. What did you do to try to get yourself to make sure you were going to be able to hit the ground running? Um, just, you know, coming into uh, leading up to this week and this game, um, I was doing a lot of on-court stuff with, you know, the strength coaches and, uh, you know, getting a lot of on-court, you know, working, running, uh, just doing things like that, just to try and get my wind, wind up before I got out there today. You know, Rob and Frank both talked about your defense and how they were excited about some potential growth there. Wondered what you focused on there and uh, if you if you saw some of that play out in your first game today. Um, well, after tonight, I feel like I could have been a little bit better, but uh, I had some good moments, and uh, you know, I'm just happy for that. That's something I have to do this year, so I'm just trying to lock into it. Tell what was the thing you missed the most in the last whatever month uh, that you weren't being able to play with these guys? Uh, being able to play here in Staples, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real feeling. And uh, just being able to be with my teammates again. You know, I always tell everybody, like, just with the group that we have, actually being, out, being able to get out there and play with them is just is a blessing for me. So I'm just appreciative of it. Taylor, and going forward, do you foresee yourself as a starter or do you know what your role will be? Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, come out here and be the best that I can. Uh, I'm not really focused on that. I'll let the coaches in the front office figure out what, what they want to do as far as that. But I'm going to just come in and do it, the same thing that I do every night. So we'll see from there. Uh uh, Talon, in the second half of the fourth quarter, you had two finger rolls um, that, that were pretty contested at the lip. How did they feel coming off your hand, and, and where is your thumb at right now in terms of the sensation, mobility, et cetera? Uh, I'm just getting better now. Um, uh, they were telling me if, if I felt like I was going to re-injure my thumb or if I felt any way like that, I shouldn't have played. So I wasn't really thinking about my thumb uh, when I was out there. I was just trying to play. Uh, I was trying to block shots with my right hand, doing everything. So just being able to, you know, just play with a free mind and not worry about that was was great for me to have tonight. Taylor, just forecasting when LeBron's going to come back and, and just how, how much more comfortable are you playing off the ball versus the, all the times that you have been able to get to the rim on the ball when you think about Russ in, in that equation? What's the, the focus and what do the coaches want, you know? Uh, I'm just, you know, I don't have a problem playing off the ball. That's just anything to do to try and win, get another ring is the, the most important thing for me. So I feel like I can help it on the ball or off the ball. So just being able to, to do that is going to be key for me. Thank you. All right, that one. <clears throat> THT. Where do we go from here? You want to talk up. about Rob? It better go up. Should we go up? Yes, we should go up. But oh. you know, I think when you look at this game, you look at the way THT came back, you look at the way Monk, you look at what Ellington, you know what Shaq always like to call the others. I think for me, that's what I'm looking at. Because those guys are getting better and better by game. I know Monk has been up and down like the stock market, yep. but Wayne Ellington, my, I'm going to lead this into James. It's been trending. 
<laughs> he's training. He's a Tar Heel, and he's training. I like that they're discovering that if you move the ball 20 